Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So in last video we have seen how to create a simple Spring Boot application and also we have written REST API for the Hello World. So in today's video we are going to see how to create a Spring Boot application and connect with the MySQL database. Okay, so let's create a new project and uh, then connect that application with MySQL database. Okay. So here I am just creating new Spring Starter project. The name we will give Spring Boot MySQL example. Okay, then package com.aj programming.spring MySQL example. Okay, so let's keep all the thing as default and click on the next. Then here we have to select the dependencies which we required for our application. So here we are creating the web application so spring web dependency is required then we are connecting to the mysql database so mysql driver dependency is required after that we are going to use spring data jpa dependency okay so we have to just select this three dependencies and click on the finish now the application is created successfully okay let's expand this application and see what's there inside so here we have source main java folder and inside that the package is created com.hj programming.spring sql example okay so inside this we have one dot java file and that file contains the main method so this will be our application starting point okay now we have to connect our application to mysql database so whatever will be the configuration that configuration we are going to write inside the application.properties file so if we open this source main resource folder inside this folder we have the application.properties file okay so currently we don't have anything inside this file so we have to write the properties inside the application.properties file to connect our application to the database okay so before that let's create one entity class okay so here i am just right clicking and new class we will write the class as a employee and inside this employee class very first just annotate this with entity annotation at the rate entity okay now let's take some fields private int id and then private string name okay so these are two fields we are taking for example okay now this id will be the primary key so we have to write at the rate id annotation here and we are going to generate this id automatically so here we have to use the annotation generated value and here the strategy will be identity okay then for the other fields we have to write the annotation as a column so that it will create the column with this name okay so if we are not mentioning any other uh, name then it will consider as a field name and if we want to change this name with some other name so here we have to write name and then if we if we want the column name as emp name then here we will mention emp name okay again uh, let's take one more field private string or private float salary okay so for this also we have to write at the rate column annotation just here let's create the default constructor and the constructor with fields okay so we don't have to write the code just right click here and select this source inside this source we have the option to generate the constructor using fields okay so here we have to select all the fields then the constructor will be generated 
after that the next step is to create the getter setter for each and every field so right click on this source and then generate getter setter okay here select all and generate now our entity class is ready okay so here we have to we have written the at the rate entity annotation also we have to write one more annotation at the rate table okay and here if like if we are not mentioning any table name then it will consider our class name and uh, the table will create it as a employee okay so let's keep as it is now we have to write all the properties inside this application dot properties file okay to connect our application to mysql database so let's write here spring dot data source dot url is equal to jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost then here we have to write the port of our mysql so 3306 is the port and then here we have to write the database so here i have written the database empdb then we have to write question mark use ssl and it will be false okay after that we have to write spring dot data source dot username so here the username will be root and then spring dot data source dot password so password is root underscore pass underscore one two three four in your case the username and password may different so you just have to update the values here okay so after that we are using the mysql database so we have to write the mysql dialect as well so for that spring dot jpa dot database platform and here we have to write org dot hibernate org dot hibernate dot dialect dot mysql five then ino db dialect okay after that if you want to gen uh, means if you want to see the queries which are running behind the scene so for that we have to write spring dot jpa dot show sql and here we have to write it as a true okay before that we have to write one more properties spring dot jpa dot hibernate dot ddl hibernate dot ddl auto and it will be update okay so these are some properties which we have to set inside this application dot properties file so that our application will connect to the database okay now let's save this and run the application we have to right click here and run as a spring boot app okay so before that uh, first let's open our mysql workbench and see what are the databases we have so currently we have this five databases and we have mentioned in our application dot properties file the database name as empdb okay so now to use that empdb we have to write the command use empdb okay now let's see what are the tables present inside that empdb so currently we don't have any table so so now let's run this application and see if our table is created or not okay so here we have to run as a spring boot app so application is running
so here if you can see our pro application is run successfully so here the query we can see create table employee okay so id integer not null auto increment and then emp name so this emp name we have mentioned then salary okay and primary key is id okay so why we are able to see this uh, sql statement because here we have written spring jpa dot show sql as a true okay now let's open our sql workbench and execute this command again show tables and here we can see the table employee is created okay so currently if we see the structure of this employee table we have to write the command des employee okay so now here we can see the st uh, structure so we have id as a int then uh, this is our primary key okay and we have made this id as a auto increment after that we have two other fields employee name and salary okay so now our application is successfully connected with our database okay this is clear to everyone how to create the spring boot application and connect that application with database okay so let's uh, let's see in short what we did here so very first we have created the employee entity class and annotated that with at the rate entity class okay after that we have annotated that with at the rate table annotation and then we have taken the field as a id name and salary and this id will be at to increment so for that we have mentioned at the rate generated value and strategy will be identity and this is the primary key so for primary key we will using at the rate id annotation for the name we have written at the rate column and we want the other name so here we have mentioned the name as emp name okay if we don't mention this name then the by default it will considered as a name will be the column name also okay but now the column name is emp name for this salary we haven't mentioned anything so here the column name is also the salary and the field name is also the salary okay after that we have written by default constructor and the uh, constructor with fields and getter setter methods and inside this application dot properties file we have mentioned all the properties or the configuration which is required to connect our application to the mysql database okay. so these are the steps to connect the spring boot application to the database so i hope this is clear to everyone that's it for today's video if you find this video useful please share this with your friends and and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you